Hey everybody, it's Lilac. Welcome. Welcome to the Lilac Broom. I am a tarot card reader and a clairvoyant and occasionally a medium. It really depends. Um, so I'm going to make a video today and I did not do my makeup or anything like that. So you get me very natural today. I was working from home and I forgot that I needed to comp myself some time and it was already arranged for me to do so. So I overworked by like 45 minutes. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows I am a workaholic regardless. So this is not, should not be surprising to anybody. Um, my eyes are so itchy because I, little known fact, I'm allergic to cats and they've been all over me and I've been rubbing my eyes. So, um, so yeah, no makeup, itchy allergy face, clueless at work. Yep. But I am your trusted advisor in spiritual matters. And, um, I listen to a lot of tarot readers and I just want to say that today I just hit the wall and I was like, I'm sick of listening to them. I'm sick of listening to what they have to say. They don't even tell me anything of any value and I got shit going on in my life. I need to know the answer to stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Oops. <laughs> I was like, I know the answer to stuff. So I'm going to just do the readings. And um, so it's just as much for you as it is for me, but... Let's get on with it, shall we? Today's September 18th. Today is a Thursday. No, I'm sorry, uh, a Wednesday. I'm really rushing this week along. There's an energy of fast forward motion. The reason for that is we've come out of Mercury being retrograded, so now Mer Mercury is direct. Last night, Last night the full moon? Yeah, the 17th. And today's the 18th. So last night we had a very full moon. Now somebody, I can't remember who it was, some ignorant friend of mine. Oh, I remember who it was. <laughs> She's probably not watching my videos. But anyway, she lives in my building. I'll say that. So some of you might know who I'm talking about. But she was just like, well, mostly full. And I was like, no, it's not, like, I'm not going to argue with you, but no, it was not mostly full. It was a completely full moon last night. It was beautiful. Some people might call it a harvest moon. Um, so it was gorgeous and spooky, you know, and it's so obvious to me that autumn is going to descend upon us here in Rhode Island and New England pretty quick. So I would get ready for some really cold weather. I'm warming up my cards, guys. Um, I'm also channeling as I do that so yes I've chosen to do that just on the video and when I watch other people who do that it does annoy me yeah I'm not gonna lie it does but I it's part of my process I need to do it and uh, if we were sitting together one-on-one -on -one and this was a reading just for you this is what I would be doing am I wrong since I'm not wrong, we're going to do it that way. So let's do a Celtic cross and see what the um, overall collective vibe energy is because there's definitely something going on. It's affecting the bulk of people. It's affecting all people in different ways. So, you know, it's going to be different depending on um, your, obviously, your individual lives. But... It's really, really important for me to emphasize that when we're going through things, all things, any things, it, we are not unique to it. If someone you know is having a baby, you're having a baby, okay? Everybody is going through the same things in life, okay? First card out, six of pentacles in reverse nothing no other card aside from maybe the hanged man or possibly the wheel of fortune in a tarot deck means a, an imbalance of justice 
as much as this card, okay? So this is the card upright. It came out in reverse. All right. It's not a traditional uh, version of the Six of Pentacles. This deck is the Wild Unknown Tarot. It's a great deck. Lots of beautiful animal uh, photo, like pictures in it. So this one's interesting because there are no animals. It just really gives you the feeling of like prosperity growing from the buds of the branch. Like basically when I look at this card, I think about the hospital system I work for. I think about the interconnectedness of the system itself. I think about the fact that some leaves look like they're already fully developed, healthy, and doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is photosynthesizing light, feeding the plant, letting it grow. It sounds like there are certain parts of an organization or family unit or circle that are established and they're doing their usual things. But some areas within this organization or family are clearly doing better because they're producing these pentacles, right? They're, they're making money. But in the grand scheme of things, this is still only one plant, okay? And the plant is as beautiful or not beautiful, as healthy or not healthy, as all other parts of the plant as a whole. Because if you see a plant and it's got... Um, some browned leaves or unhealthy pieces and nobody has come along and pruned it, you will have a perception that the plant may not be healthy. You will. You absolutely will. If you know things on a deeper level about plants, you'll probably say, oh, that plant just needs to be pruned a little bit. But at a glance, it just doesn't look like it's balanced. And that's what we're dealing with here. Challenge is the magician. The Magician definitely makes me think of Mercury in its fast motion, in its quick actions. It's also um, making me think of Aries energy, which is a fire sign that's the baby fire sign in the Zodiac. Actually, Aries are the babies of the Zodiac. So if you are an Aries person, you may be really particularly struggling with this energy. It's like you're doing everything you can. Whoever I, whoever this reading is going to be applicable to, you're doing everything you can to uh, better an organization's status, or perhaps your family, or what you know. Apply it where it fits. But I'm going to say organization because that's what came to me with that plant. You're doing everything that you can, and I have to say too, you're looking really good as you do it. But what's working against you is more of a universal situation and that can't be, it can't be circumnavigated. It's, it's like you have to go through it to get through it, whatever it brings, okay? In the past, you've got the hermit. Is it, you know, and then in the more recent past, a reversal of justice. People are afraid to fill the shoes that they are in already, that they're being asked to fill, because in the past maybe they were shy or withdrawn or perhaps just not, they were not the front and center person. Maybe someone else was doing that. And then more recently, perhaps they just didn't pick up any momentum. They didn't pick up positive energy. They didn't pick up even static energy to help them get where they're going. But look at this card for your outcome. Six of wands. I, I love that. I love, I fucking love that. And I'm going to tell you why. In the traditional tarot, it has a connection to the Six of Pentacles, right? The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands are two extremely significant cards, and I'm going to tell you why. In the general tarot, as soon as I see the Six of Pentacles, I think somebody has plenty and somebody has not enough. And when the two combine, they balance each other out. It's a card of balance. Balance is not being found currently. But the outcome of the whole thing, 
the fact that you were always a little wallflower, you shied away from the leadership role, you shied away from the spotlight for whatever reason, and then when you came out a little bit, there was no immediate success, right? But here we have the card of victory. It's That's what this card is in traditional tarot. The six of wands is victory. One of the best victory cards you can get. Like if I were going on a job interview, say, and I pulled this card, the six of wands, that is all that I would, out of the 72 cards in tarot, that's the one I want to pull, that one because it just tells me everything is gonna go well. <sighs> Everything's gonna go well. You know, success is assured. How? My question is how? Nine of, nine of cups reversed. Innermost thoughts and feelings are the mother of wands, which is the queen of wands reversed. Externally, you've got the devil influencing. Hopes and fears are the seven of swords. There's a lot of fear. Outcome is the three of cups and the high priestess, although in reverse. What I see happening is a time of revolution, individual revolution in ourselves. And it's time to embrace that because all signs are pointing to a positive outcome for anybody pursuing something that they, in some cases, don't have a choice but to pursue. It's being presented and they've got to stand up and face the situation. It's often like that in life. So um, that's what we're getting here. And I want to stop here, keep this video pretty short, and I may uh, just leave it on the table and then take it deeper in the next video. But if you liked that, please look for a second part to this video. And thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Namaste.